Yeah! Yeah! That's how you do it. Hey guys, we have a blessed lack of wind today. So I thought it'd be a good time to get out and shoot some videos. What I have in my hand is the Nagant rifle. This is a 1943 version. That's right, older than many of your grandparents. And the cartridge that we're shooting in this, this is the 762 by 54 r Some people say the R stands for Russian, but generally it stands for a rimmed cartridge. And what we're gonna spend a little time talking about is how to run one of these old bolt actions. Now, some people, traditionalists will say, shoulder it and then work the bolt with it still in your shoulder. But this is a long bolt. And if your face is right here and you work that bolt, you're probably gonna eat it, all right? So I'm gonna show you a little bit different type of technique. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna have the gun at my waist, bayonet pointing at the target. I'm gonna push it out, pull it back in, fire, Drop it, up, back, back, all right guys, you guys know that I am a fan of the bayonet, and one of the most simple, uncomplicated bayonets you'll ever get your hands on is the 18 inch Nagant pig sticker. This guy right here okay now the gun this gun is empty doesn't matter you start out with five rounds nobody wants to be poked with a sharp stick nobody wants to have a bayonet put in so how do we work with a bayonet let's say there's an entire fire team three or four or ten or twelve of you and you have a neighborhood full of antifas or some kind of looters or rioters or bad people and they want to do bad things to you and your family all right, at the waist, what you want to be, you want to look, the bayonet should be eye level. Bayonet is eye level. We move forward. When it is time to thrust, you will put your, if you're holding it, right hand strong, left hand forward, back, and thrust. So on. Continuing on with our bolt action rifles. This is the Model 44. It's a Chinese carbine version of the original Nagant with a side folding bayonet instead of a fixed bayonet. And uh, the action is essentially the same. We're shooting the same ammunition. And again, you don't want to pull the bolt straight back into your face. I'm going to thrust it out, pull it back to my shoulder, fire, drop it, bolt up, close it. The military rifles have steel butt plates. And you say, oh, ow, that hurts my shoulder. It's not about your shoulder, it's about being soldier proof and also having the ability to smash in your opponent's skull. So we've got our bayonet on here. Obviously this is a shorter version. So with our butt, we can butt stroke, boom. Or if we needed to smash, we would come back and smash. So jab, butt stroke, that's how it works. You always got to use your war face.